now I need to find an angle. Well, angles are a little bit trickier. We're going to have to use our calculator for that. But I'm going to look at angle B, and I'm going to take the two given sides, five, uh, 5 and 4. 5 is my hypotenuse, and 4 from angle B, that's my adjacent angle, or my adjacent leg. So if I have adjacent and hypotenuse, which trig function would I use? I would use cosine. So cosine of B is equal to a, an adjacent over the hypotenuse. So let's plug in what we know. We know the adjacent is 4. We know the hypotenuse is 5. And we need to find angle B. So to find angle B, I'm going to have to use a calculator and I'm going to have to use the inverse button because anytime you're finding an angle, you're working backwards. So let's grab our calculators. And we're going to type in to find an angle. So anytime you're working with a calculator, the first thing you need to do is make sure you're in the correct mode. So hit your mode button, and yes, I'm in degrees. Now, I want to find the angle, so I'm going to use my second or my inverse button, cosine of 4 divided by 5, or 4 fifths. And that will give me 38.9. So we'll just round to the closest tenth. So that's going to be 30. Was it 38, 36.9, and that is angle B. Now, I could do another trig function to find angle C, but what do I know about the relationship between these two angles? They are complementary. So I can just take 90 minus 36.9, and I can find the other angle is 53.1. So there we go. So I have found those two, um, or one side and the two angles. Now let's go through and look for our two missing angles. Okay, these are the backwards problems. So to find angle H, I'm going to look from this perspective and choose two sides, and I'm going to work the two sides that are given. So the two sides that are given are my opposite, which is 15 meters, and my hypotenuse, which is 17 meters. So opposite and hypotenuse, that is the sine function. So sine of angle H is equal to my opposite over my hypotenuse, which is also 15 over 17. So here is my ratio. I need to work backwards to find the angle. So I'm going to use my calculator to take the inverse of sine of the ratio 15 over 17. So let's grab our calculators and crank through that. So we're going to take the inverse. Well, first, always make sure in your mode that you're in degrees, or if you want to be in radians, you can be in radians. But check for your unit of measure. Then I'm going to hit my second function button and sign. And that brings my inverse up of 15 divided by 17. And enter that. And that gives me the angle 61. 0.9 degrees. So that is 61.9 degrees. And that's angle H. Now I can also work a trig function for, to find angle I. So let's go down and see which trig function you could use. So from angle I, the given side is my adjacent and the 17 is still my hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that's my cosine function. So the cosine of angle I is equal to my adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 
the two sides are 15 over 17. So I'm using the same ratio, but a different trig function. And then to find the angle, because I'm working backwards, I'm going to find the cosine inverse of the ratio 15 over 17. And let's see what that gives us. So grab your calculators. And we're going to take the second cosine to get the inverse cosine of 15 divided by 17. And that gives you 28.1 degrees. Now I want you to look at the relationship between those two angles and think about the relationship inside of a triangle. So it was 28.1 degrees. And we know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. If you have a right triangle, then the angle's 90. So that means these two acute angles have to be complementary. So the other option to find angle I after finding angle H is just to take 90 and subtract 61.9, and that gives you this angle, but I just wanted to show you working the triangle or the inverse function to find angles and how you can do it from different corners of a right triangle.